It's been a week now into the demolition of residential property and homes along Vada Vada. Sounds of bulldozers and changes can be heard from the roadside as trees are uprooted and homes flattened. Policemen stood guard on the roadside, watched eagerly while the machines continued. An innocent resident stood beside their belongings, watching helplessly as the house were reduced to debris. MTV spoke to Joseph Pawan, a long-time Vada Vada resident today. And we spent all our savings to build this house, for nearly half a million kina we spent to build this house. And the government is trying to build this road. They can't even talk to the people who are losing these properties here. They're just bulldozing these roads down with the uh, police. Uh, I think which is not good. I think they should uh, get a proper assessment and then compensate the people, people before they break down these houses. So now we, we, we're going to go now. Most of the people have lost all their property. Many of the Tarama residents were affected after their homes were demolished. Now, as you can see, this eviction exercise is still continuing. While expressing his grievances, Bowen said there were no resettlement plans by NCDC prior to this road construction. He claimed that he had acquired the land customarily and has been living there for over 20 years. He said properties worth millions of kina were lost following this incident. The NCDC is not coming, and not telling, talking to the people here. And they're just knocking down every house is here. Is there any government that can assist us? Or are we going to be left out like this? Meanwhile, his children were forced to skip classes today because they have no homes. Eric Arupma, National MTV News.